New this fall from Thunder Bay Broadcasting, Winter Sizzles. <laughs> There's your date for the winter ball. Okay, don't you know who that is? That's Boris Gretzky, the pride of Iowa. Boycott team, bronze medalist, Paris ice dancing. Well, well, he skates like he was born with metal feet. Ah. But where's his partner? Oh, you mean Wendy. Wendy told him. Was? Oh yeah. Week after they come back from the game, tragic wheeling accident. She was on her way to buy a new sled, a gift for Boris. She was killed by a drunk driver. Jeepers! DJ, bring the snap! Little schnapps, little schnapps. 
Boris! Wendy, Wendy, is that you? There you go. New this fall from Thunder Bay Broadcasting. Don't miss Green Bay Watch. Hi, boys and girls. I'm your shiny new host for recess, Kelly. You may remember me as Wendy Beaker from The Dew Hunter. Thank you. I hope you like Devin in the opening. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So look for a new opening next week. And now, I think it's appropriate to have a moment of silence. Actually, this is kind of neat for me, being the host. I know I'll be watching. So, uh, Kelly, did you tape NYPD Blue? Oh, God, that, that Rick Schroeder. He's just... Oh, he's so... So... Well, he's just dank. Okay, on with the show. Let's see what's first. Oh, uh, Tom, are you sure about this? Okay, um, the following is an editorial by our producer, Tom. And let me just say real quick before we get to this, I love Disney. Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, I bought it. It's in my car right now. Ugh. Yeah, thanks, Wendy. I got a, I got a bone to pick with a Mr. Michael Eisner. We got CWO, Cheese at World Order, in the house, baby. Mr. Eisner, check your programming guide. I'll wait, have your butler show you how. This ain't about Donald Duck wearing no pants. This is about that, Sonny. This is about the name of my show. I may be animated, but I'm no cartoon. You think you're gonna come in here and take the name of my show? It ain't happening. I go to McDonald's the other day. I always bring meals to the kids at the pediatrics wards. They always get such a kick out of my visits. And I never deny them the toy, and... What the hell is this, Mr. Epcot Center? You're gonna copyright the name of my show in French? I don't think so. Not unless you're man enough to take me on. Mano a mano. Cage match, baby. I want a cage match. Pay-per-view or on my program. I don't care. Either way you like it, but I ain't backing down. So, Mr. Y Euro Disney, you make the call. You come on down. We'll have a Royal Rumble. Cage match, Mr. Eisner. Thank you. Back to you, Wendy. It's Kelly, Tom. Kelly Thompson. Yeah, right. What okay. <clears throat> Mr. Eisner, if you're still watching Robin Hood, I loved it. It was great. Um, well, we'll be back with more recess <laughs> right after these program highlights. And welcome to the Old Time Atheist Revival Hour with your host, the Irreverent Doubting Thomas. Can you just feel the power in the room here tonight, children? That's because Jesus is not in this room. Not Buddha, not Muhammad. Let me read from a post-it note from my fridge. <clears throat> there is no God. Yes, there is no God. Do you hear me telling the truth, children? Wait a minute. I'm starting to think about random statistical possibilities and probabilities. There's a woman in Milwaukee. She has a case of the gout. She's feeling better today. A man in Dallas. He's arthritic. The warm weather combined with the low humidity is making him much more comfortable. 
They call me Doubting Thomas Children, and I do have some doubts. I got some doubts about the Easter Bunny and the Boogeyman, about the Tooth Fairy and the Yeti, and don't you get me started on Santa Claus. Now we all know it's going to be hard to spread the logic, but we've got to do it. We've got to finance it, children. There are babies in Africa that are dying of malnutrition. Their mothers are told it's God's will. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's malnutrition. Maybe you should move out of the desert. There's no food there. Please, please dig deep, children. Dig deep. Wait. There's a leukemia patient in Milwaukee. She's just gone into remission. Please help me support my anti-ministry with your donations. Just send the gas money you're saving on Sundays. Help me stamp out wishful thinking in your lifetime. Just send those donations to the Old Time Atheist Revival Hour in care of Doubting Thomas. Oh, God. Thanks a lot, Tom. First Disney, now the Pope. I guess Nana's never going to get to see me on TV. Ugh, no wonder Devin went AWOL. You know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. Wendy, Wendy, come on. Come back. Come back. It's, it's Kelly, Tom. Kelly Thompson. You're doing great, kid. <sighs> not kid. Not kiddo. Kelly, what is your problem? Whatever. Mike, keep rolling and take it oh, in five, God. four, three, two. Hi, kids. We're back. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank Tim for letting me host. Are you losing your hair? Are you concerned about how far it will go? Well, now there's Gropecia, a new pill that'll actually grow hair. Let's visit with a new man, thanks to Gropecia. 97. Blue ball, folks. That was my shiny head before I met Gropecia. Not only did it give me back my hair, it gave me confidence, vitality, and sex appeal. It changed my life. Not only are the ladies doing a double take, but even the guys seem to respect me more. At the office, I got a big raise and a pat on the back from the boss. He says I've got cojones. Everybody used to call me Tom Johnson, but now I'm Mr. Johnson. Just take a look at these before and after photos. Gropecia grows new hair on 95% of users and is available by prescription only. Users may experience some testicular side effects. Women should not use this product as it may cause specific mutations. Four out of five urologists recommend Gropecia. Well, Tom just told me about the tattoo of the month, so I'm looking for myself a good tat man. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Artrageous Inc. Corporation. They must be big. Forbidden Art Tattoo Studio. Let's see, custom work, superior craftsmanship. Hmm. Mainstream Tattoo and Body Piercing Studio. Body. I'm looking for Tom. Hey, you can't come in here. Tom, there's some guys from Disney here to see you. Hey, you guys can't just barge in here without a without an appointment for crying out loud. What? What? Hey, hey. You'll never get recessed. Never. Just keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> God. God. Oh, God. okay. Okay. You know what? We're going to go to Boris the Sprinkler rocking out on New Year's Eve. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah.
I have been in steady negotiations with the good people over at Disney <laughs> and about the whole misunderstanding about the name of, of my show as Recess. <laughs> nice wedgie, Tom. Hey, hey. It was all Devin's idea. I wanted to call it story time. And by the way, look forward to seeing the new Tattoo of the Month ride at Euro Disney. Tom, it's like somebody must up your hair. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Now I won't have to get that freaking tattoo. Oh. As I was saying, children, remember to watch ABC on Saturday mornings for that wonderful cartoon recess. And for the rest of you, for now, recess is over. These are the opening shots. Welcome to Unpaid Programming. My name is Kelly. You may know me as Boris Schlosky from one of our skits. This is a friend of mine, Nate. You may know him as Dank Cavern. Let me introduce you to our producer. This is Tom. And this is our host, Wendy. Welcome to Unpaid Programming. I'm your host, Wendy. You may know me as BJ Winters from Green Bay Watch. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you like the new o Wendy? Did I just say Wendy? Ugh, oh, God, Tom, can you get it through your thick, balding skull that my name is Kelly? Kelly Thompson? Oh, oh, oh. There, there, there. You're doing, you're doing just great, Wendy. Just, Wendy, just relax. You'll be fine with this. You're, you're gonna be good. Just relax, okay? <laughs> Smooch, my thank you, moron. My name is Kelly. Kelly Thompson. What is your problem? Easy, easy. Now, 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 you, you know and I know that you, you're destined to be a big star. A big star. Big star. What's my name, Wedgie Boy? What's my name? Did I say star? Uh, I, I meant, I meant, I meant super, superstar. Superstar? Su superstar, superstar. Think, think of all the real icons out there, like, like Elvis and Cher and, and Madonna. Just, just one name says it all. Just... Just Wendy. Just now he's snowing you. Now, think of it. Think of it. One name. Says it all. Wendy. No last name. Elvis. Cher. Madonna. Wendy. 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 Yeah. Let me think about that. Yeah, Wendy. Hmm. Wendy. Mmm, Wendy. Oh. Wendy. Oh, yeah, Wendy. 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 
Wendy. Earth to Superstar. Earth to Superstar. We've got a show to do Oh, here. yeah. You're right, Tom. <clears throat> Let's do it. All right, Kelly. You want a close-up? Kelly is dead, Mike. I'm Wendy. Four, three. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'd like to introduce you to two guys who are very special to me. I've kissed them both. First, we have Kelly Qualley, who starred in Green Bay Watch as Boris Splatsky. You got that, Qualley? Splatsky. Second, we have Nate Sitzman, who was, you know, he was in the Dew Chasers with me. And, you know, he's just... Well, he's just so, well, he's just dank. Here they are, Kelly and Nate as Enos. Four, three, it's like Ed Sullivan, two. That's it. Show's over. Roll the credits.